Hey, my name is Ruthie, and my husband Adam and I are partners with Stout Tent. This winter, we noticed that um, we had, even though we thought we had put our tent in a really flat spot, um, we were a little off, a little off level, and it caused this um, this seam at the very top of the tent to let go. You can see it let go about five inches. So we contacted a local uh, repair, like a canvas repair, upholstery repair company, and they quoted us $150 to finish, you know, to, to finish this part of the seam. So we thought, you know, that's a lot of money. We can probably find a more creative way to, uh, to stitch that up. So we got online, we did a little bit of research and found that um, you, you could get an, a, an upholstery kit. Um, we actually got ours off Amazon. And I think the kit was $11.99. It came with about, I don't know, like 15 needles. And they had the, the curved needle, which I know some people really like that. We did not prefer that for our particular repair um, up here in this, this area, because this area has about, I'm gonna guess you're sewing through about six layers of fabric, maybe four to six layers of fabric. And, it's, and it is a tough, really durable canvas. So the needle that we ended up using and really liking was this, this long needle. I'm gonna guess it must be about maybe three inches long. This was the one that we liked. The thread that came with our kit was a nice heavy duty thread. I think, I think it was $11.99 or $14.99, somewhere in there. And it came with the three spools of thread in different colors. You can see they are large spools. We would, I would hope we would never need to use that much. <laughs> and all of these needles. So um, we figured the easiest way to do this would be to follow the holes that were already in, um, you know, around the seams. Um, so we, you know, we tried to stay, we tried to stay in some of those holes. Some of them we did have to punch ourselves. You can see we started out a little rough and we got a lot more clever the, the farther we went. So I did put the thread through, double through the needle. And so we went up crisscrossing one way and then we turned around and we followed our holes back through um, you know to make these x's now you'll see i've got some long um you know some long uh threads here at the end i left these in case i needed to you know to to tie it again uh, i would highly recommend um you know if you end up with a problem like this where you need to repair a seam um make sure you have a really nice long piece of thread i would rather have not have had to you know to re-thread my needle and tie this off up here um so after we we threaded through and I, oh i should add punching this through the canvas is not an easy task and pulling it through is definitely not an easy task we actually used a multi-tool the one we had was a leatherman to you know to to push it push the needle through and to pull it out the other side and that was really effective that definitely saved everybody's hands so this tent was up for a little over a week and you can see, I mean, it held nice and strong. The thread did fade some color, which I would have expected. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is no movement. We didn't have any, um, we had no water inside the tent. Everything held up really well. Um, one thing we did do just to be extra, extra cautious, uh, I purchased some of this gear aid repair tape. I've used this before on, you know, Gore-Tex hiking gear and I've never had any issue with it. It is fantastic. They make some that's, um, especially for, um, you know, for, well, this one was especially for tents. So it is a nylon, uh, it's a nylon repair patch. It is, um, you know, it's waterproof. Uh, it is, it's, they call it tenacious tape by gear aid. So I put this on the inside, on the back side of the seam. Um, and you know, that gave me just a little bit of extra insurance or <laughs> assurance in my mind, um, that, you know, it would make sure to seal that up. So this was a really inexpensive repair. I think the gear tape was right around like $8. And like I said, the kit with the needles and the thread. Um, I think that was eleven ninety nine. So all total, we repaired this for twenty dollars. Like I said, it is. It was. It was. You know, you're gonna. You're going to work for that repair um, because you are gonna have to push it through that canvas. But it took us. I don't know. Maybe twenty minutes or a half an hour. So it was well. Uh, it was definitely worth saving one hundred and fifty dollars to do this ourselves. Um, we have not had any tears in the actual, um, like the you know, like on a wall. Um, I, I would. 
I, I, from what I read, this gear aid tape is really good for, um, you know, for repairs in a sidewall. Uh, so yeah, if you are looking, if you, if you run into a ripped seam and you're looking for an inexpensive way to, uh, to fix that, I would highly recommend giving this a shot. We figured the worst thing that it would happen is it wouldn't work and we would end up having to bring it to the pros.